Man, let me just address this issue one more time. Look, man, look. No one's afraid of Islam, okay? The, the terrorism is designed to make people afraid and to coerce people groups through fear. That's what terrorism is designed to do. That's what terrorist acts are designed to do, to make everyone afraid to talk shit about Islam. But as someone who uh, fought terror directly, and yes, I mean very directly, I've been in over 280 firefights on the front lines of Iraq in the bloodiest battles of the Iraq war. And trust me, I'm not afraid of the terroristic, the terrorism and the fear that they try and perpetuate. I refuse to be afraid to be honest and open about the truth of any philosophy because fuck that. What is that? What is that? So no, if I was living in some hyper-Islamic territory where they enact Sharia law, would I run around running my mouth like this? Of course not. I'm not a fucking idiot. But the point is, that's not my experience. That's not my perspective. I'm talking about the way that this country that I live in, that I have been impacted by myself in a million different ways. In this country, Christianity is still the predominant bullshit religion that we're fucking with. Today, every single day, everywhere I look, I see people who are impacted by Jesus and Christianity. And I see, I see it literally in my family, within my friend groups. I've seen it everywhere. Shit, I've seen it how it impacted me, most importantly, right? I mean, my experience is why I'm doing this. It's because of my experience, specifically with Christianity and how it's hurt me, impacted me, changed my life, and all the things I learned through studying theology. It's because of that that I speak out against Christianity. But what it sounds like to me is that you've fallen victim to the threats of terrorism and now you're afraid and so you're projecting your fucking fears onto me. Oh, I bet this pussy wouldn't talk shit about is Dude, Islam is based on the same freaking patriarchal system as the, all the Abrahamic religions are. Moses is fictional. All of the shit about Allah is fictional. Anyone claiming to be a prophet of a law and enacting some kind of law is fucking lying. Just like all the prophets of Christianity were fucking lying. If they even existed. Man, I don't want, you got me going off on tangents and stuff. That's not the point. The point is, Christianity is a problem in my life and in this country. So that's what I'm addressing and I'm never going to stop until it's done. Time's ticking. It will be over soon. Anti-revival gang.